I'd ever in my wildest dreams thought I'd be working in the NFL. At the time, you know, I, was, I felt like I was a couple of years away from transitioning out of the military and thought I'd likely be, you know, working somewhere in the private sector. And I had begun to think about how I was gonna translate what I'd done. But then I got an opportunity to work in the NFL and I really felt like, you know, it was a perfect fit. I felt like it was home. My name is Brian Decker. I'm the Director of Player Development. I spent the last 15 years of my military career in U.S. Army Special Forces. When I, whenever I got to the military, one of the things that's appealing to me is everybody's equal. When you look at people, you can't tell where they're from, you can't tell what their socioeconomic status is, and it's, it's a truly merit-based activity. If you're willing to work hard and do the right things, uh, there's opportunity for advancement. I knew from a character standpoint that Brian was, was going to really add value. I d had no idea that he was going to add value in other areas of our organization. I mean, and that just comes from his military background, and I wasn't scared to take a chance on him. The one thing that we all get excited about, even when we move out away from the military, is locking onto something with a higher purpose, much like we had when we were in the military. And that's what's so great about sports. It's, it is the higher purpose. It's the ability to be a part of something greater than yourself. From the time the season ends up to the draft, I am, for all intents and purposes, I'm a scout. Not in the traditional sense in the X's and O's, but more at looking at, at, at the player, his character, his makeup, try, trying to understand um, you know, what kind of developmental profile this player has and what kind of teammate he's going to be. The evaluation process is hard. Being able to get the character right is such a key element for us. It's not, not just about the talent, um, but you've got to be able to get the character right. Once the draft is over, what we do is we take all that information we've gained from that player, um, knowing his developmental background, knowing his family situation, knowing everything we know about him, and then we onboard them, and that becomes the basis for their development plan. Yeah, he's, the question is, my only question when you get guys like that is he talented. Oh, no, he's talented. So, we'll, I, we'll, I, talk, I, we'll watch I, it on time. I don't think, I don't think he's going to beat himself. No. When you move from the, the collegiate level uh, to the NFL, it's a pretty big jump. So a portion of what I do is just mentor the players as they make that transition because helping them find find their way. I mean, I get, I think, more satisfaction out of doing that than if it were something where I was directly doing it myself.